a cake. Cat Guevara, like Shea Guevara. Okay. <laughs> you related? No, but I did tell someone that he was my uncle once and they made me stay after school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I think it was Juanita Diana that brought me in. I met her in North Beach. She said, come on down, check us out. Come in and uh, work with the other producers and try and uh, come up with some programming and uh, fight uh, during the meetings and laugh during the meetings. Video wasn't my field. I'm more of a graphics and print person. And so everything I did there was new to me. I didn't know about editing, I didn't know about producing, I didn't know about any of it. I was fascinated. Add spirit to any party with new Mr. Wine. Turns your tap into a winery from Scamco, where rampant consumerism meets the Protestant work ethic. One of the things I did was shoot the graphics for in between segments. If I said I really knew you well, what would your answer be? We needed a picture of Paul McCartney. A load of rubbish. I'd run down to the record store, find one. I'd go to Tower Records, Amoeba Records, the poster shop, the postcard palace, and all these different stores around town to find images of anybody we needed. And that was fun. And then I would get the cameramen to shoot them, pan in, pan out. Zoom in, zoom, <laughs> swipe. And that was new for me, and I, I really enjoyed it. The Ramones. I got an autographed copy of one of their albums with all four Ramones signing it. <laughs> I was, that's one of my um, prized treasures now. <laughs> I had so much fun that I learned that work can be fun. And I tried to, to have fun in all my jobs. 